I'm E.B. Hoyer from the Aurora Theater, and I hate running. <laughs> hate it. Tomorrow morning, many of you will get up and run or walk the 5K, and I will be in my bed with zero regrets. I did do one pretty significant race this year, though. I did a .5K. Uh, a .5K, as those are cheering know, is one-tenth the work of a traditional race. Instead of running 3.2 miles, just go .3 miles. Like, that's a distance I can manage. That also happens to be the distance from our theater to the closest brewery. <laughs> now, a little background. My bosses are fun. We've experienced a tremendous amount of growth and change over the last 10 years, but the fact that they are fun people remains, and it trickles into everything we do. When we receive a large grant, we'll call a beer 30 to celebrate. When an employee goes away, maybe we'll have a Nerf war. Maybe we have lots of other things going on. I can't go into it. <laughs> Our annual golf tournament has a costume hole and a tequila hole and a golf ball launcher and more. We are the embodiment of work hard, play hard. So when I suggested a fundraiser where you walk two blocks for a beer, it was a no-brainer. They were immediately on board. Our friends at the brewery were excited to partner with us and our board of directors laughed in the good way. So we started spreading the word about our totally legit race. That's right. We treated our 0.5K like a legit, serious, normal race. Participants received a sticker for their car to let the world know exactly how far they could go. We had those inflatable start and finish lines. The one difference being our marketing team created graphics with a sloth to let the world know exactly how fit you needed to be for our fun run. And because we're fun, we took the sloth to the next level. The magnificent Duffy. <laughs> she was out there smiling and telling jokes no matter how many times that costume deflated. <laughs> she took over our social media and told people about the things Slaws love. Slaws love beer, Slaws love tacos, Slaws love high fives. She did it in this awesome New York accent I can't possibly replicate. It was awesome. It was at least as awesome as our bacon station. That's right. Thanks to the Sultan of Snacks, because all of our sponsorships had fun names like that, we were able to provide a bacon break halfway through the 0.5K, where you'd normally have a water break. It's okay if you don't like bacon, because we had local restaurants donate tacos and ice cream at the finish line, because those are my two favorite foods, and I was in charge. All of our communication was tongue-in-cheek and just a little bit sassy, and I knew we were right on the money when I got this email that says, the race hasn't even happened yet, and I'm having so much fun. <laughs> now, we sold out of the capacity of the brewery a couple weeks before the event and had to turn people away. I'm not saying everything was smooth sailing, though. We had our hiccups. Things out of our control were changed, and we still had to answer for it. There's problem solving and troubleshooting like there is with any event. But I'm not here today to talk about overcoming barriers. You all do that every day. I'm here to talk about why a 0.5K worked for us. And here's the secret. Much like our staff and our bosses, the entire event was just silly fun. I don't know that we've ever done anything that was so on brand and so authentically us. The whole day was filled with laughter and joy, and people loved it. Because the thing people respond to above all else is authenticity. So don't go do a 0.5K. That's my thing. <laughs> it's not going to work for every community or every organization. But figure out what your thing is. Go all in on that. Say again, don't go do a 0.5K. <laughs> but do whatever is true to you. Be you, and you'll get results. Thank you.